Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I actually want to talk about this before we get out of here, Sam, man. I'm going to get your thoughts on this. I have to. I actually now just found an article. <clears throat> Meek Mill <laughs> flexes with Drake's OVO chain in a series of photos right here. And this is clear as day. We see Meek, you know, um, with the OVO chain. And we've seen, you know, they had their beef. And a lot of people pretty much said that Meek, you know, took an L on that one. You know, um, and, um, you know, I agree. I think Drake definitely beat him lyrically mm. with that. But they pieced it up. Everybody kind of thought that was cool. You know, I think Drake brought him out in Philly. They brought each other out. They've kind of been buddy, buddy. But now he pops up. You know, he got the beard too now. And I'm meek. And now he got the OVO chain on. And a lot of people are speculating a lot of things. I've seen people say he's going to sign to Drake and all that. I, I don't know about none of that. That's not none of that's been confirmed. But there are pictures with Meek Mill rocking the OVO chain. Is that some whole ass shit or what, man? <laughs> First, what's going on with him and Ross? Are they done? Is MMG done? Uh, I don't think so. I, I mean, they pretty much they good, man. I don't know. I don't know how long his contract is with them, but I, they look good to me. I don't see nothing to say they wouldn't. You know? Well, so he's yeah. doing some cuddle buddy shit right now? I don't get it. I don't get it. Seems awfully odd. Now, I know y'all cool now, which is great. Mm -hmm. I guess it's cool. Like, mm -hmm. no, no one's endorsing beef. Y'all had y'all little nonsense lyrically cool. It's cool to go out there, do some records. Be together but this is like this reminds me of when lebron went to miami with d wade and chris bosh and it's like what the fuck are y'all doing mm -hmm. this is rap god damn it mm -hmm. you never seen you know what i mean styles peak throwing on a motherfucking diamond come on man you never seen it throwing yeah. on a rockefeller chain hell no he'd go to he'd die before that happened you never yeah. seen that going down even after the beef like come, come on man you yeah. never seen it you never seen jordan throwing on a pistons uniform right that shit didn't happen it didn't happen this is, I guess, this is just the, the age that we're in. It probably does got it a ton of look like, IG. Huh. Yeah, does it look, does it, you think it's like something where it's like, I sunned you? You, you think people are looking at it like that? Or are we just looking too deep into it? Like, nigga, I'll, be, I'll bust your ass in this beef. Now you're putting on my chin, you my bitch. I don't know if a lot of people are going to say that. Yeah. It does feel kind of like you just got your arm, somebody arm put around you and got your little knuckle. You know? Right. I don't know, but man, Meek Mill. I'd rather I, I wouldn't want to see that. I think that's it. That, that, that love went, went too far with that. When he gonna like this video, fuck it. Cool. We don't want shit. And, I, and, and, and that would be a shame if, they, if this is the video that Meek Mill decided <laughs> to come at the Uncensored True podcast. The first thing I say to Meek Mill is, What a shame because you didn't say anything to us when we talked about you doing the bag drive for them kids out in Philadelphia before mm -hmm. school. You didn't say anything to us when we're out here representing you nonstop. When it comes to your prison reform mm -hmm. and you sitting behind bars unjustly in the video after video we did talking about your music mm -hmm. bigging you time after time type to time sitting right over the walt whitman bridge we got nothing but love for you still but this is kind of corny and we're going to call it out so it is what it is yeah i don't it's not really given the context of why you know the article of why he wore it i was not going to you need anything about it so you know, it just looks you know, it looks whack to me, man. Come on, man. I was already pissed off that he didn't respond. And why? Yeah, why? because you love you love Meek Mill. You're a fan of Meek Mill. Yeah, I'm. A, yeah, definitely. You wanted to see him get back out there. Yeah, in the ring and box. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, it's like I mean, I don't know, man. It's old now, so we're not trying to stir up no beef. A lot of people try to say that with the blogs and stuff like that, but that's just real hip hop talk. You're not going to get it like this nowhere else. You got cats talking about little kids and all kind of other dumb stuff. We get it in over here on the Uncensored Truth Podcast. Yeah, man, it's been another beautiful, beautiful